All right, ladies and gentlemen, new week, new odyssey. What have we got ourselves in for? Okay, it's been a while since we've had a community member submitted odyssey and approved. So, hard difficulty. It's called Kinetic Chaos by Sky. Now, if I remember correctly, Sky's done Odysseys before? I don't recall them being the scourge of the underworld. So I'm thinking this could be alright, but Extreme Mode is not a great first impression. These maps are, though. These maps are an amazing first impression. What could the twists be? Kinetic Chaos. If you have to ask, then it's probably Custom Rounds. Yep. Which has... We, we all know how I feel about Custom Rounds in Odysseys. Would be great if we knew what was coming so we could actually plan ahead like the Odyssey is sort of, you know, entirely based around. But, but... They're all relatively chill maps. That's a lie. They're all chill maps. None of these maps are difficult. But, kinetic chaos. Kinetic. Moving. Moving chaos. Uh... No, I'm fucking that, man. The most you can do with custom rounds is, like, insert speedy boys earlier than they're meant to be. That's the only kinetic chaos I could think of. Okay. But we do get 60. Oh. Okay. Thank fuck. Okay. Right. Uh, wow. Everyone's up for grabs. Except for... No, no, it, it just seems like everyone's up for grabs. I really appreciate that. I do default to Sorta though, so that was a good starting option. Um, first of all, Sky, thank you for not limiting the towers too heavily. Because holy shit, every time Ninja Kiwi start nerfing towers, they're like, right, you know those two parts you really enjoy? Yeah, you can't use those, use the other one. And then we look at it and go, fuck. <laughs> well, that tower's shit now. At least that's how I look at it. Druids, if I'm allowed tier 3 in the middle, or tier 4, already on my list. Um, Spiked Mines is very good. I uh, don't know if I'll need those. I'll bring like a couple of them maybe. Uh, honestly, Ninja Alk in my mind has not, not dropped off, but it's not the first thing that comes to my mind anymore. Which I think is very sad, honestly. Maybe it means I've branched out as a, uh, as a player. We need some fodder to play with in the early game. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, not, uh, not, not my first thought anymore, which I think is a little bit sad, a little bit heartbreaking. Do we bring them just just, just cause? I mean, what would we actually get out of them? Bloom, I mean, we could get my OG 401 tag team for both of them. I think Alchemist I can justify bringing, Ninja I can't justify bringing as much. But this team looks pretty solid in my mind. Um, just in case, Blue Gunner to, to help loosen things up a bit if we get stuck. I will go for five villages. Um, the main reason I'm bringing the helis, not the helis, the, uh, the planes, is because tier 4 bottom path pretty much acts like a tier 5, but somehow there's stronger and for so much more expensive. I think I'm just going to pull the rest into wizards, honestly. Alright, I'm happy with that. Let's explore. What the fuck is going on? So... Kinetic Chaos? I guess we'll find out very quickly what that means. Oh, okay, we're seeing some, some extra spawns. 
That's for sure. It is this double spawns? Is this everything is is sort of doubled? From the looks of it, it might be. Oh, that looks like round ten though. Or round four. Now hold on a second. Is round two both round two and four? Is round three both round three and six? I won't be able to recognize that very easily if that is the case, except for what's the gap? Two and four, three and six, four and eight. So is it just the one we're on plus doubled? So I guess if round 20 shoves us a Moab, I'll fucking know. Oh, this round seems normal. Does it? I don't know. Why did I bring five boats? Okay, there is a uh, three maps. Got it. Cool. So I didn't completely waste my time, but I didn't actually scan through the maps to check the water features. Should have done that. Okay, but at the moment it seems like a hell of a lot more is spawning than should be, which actually works out very nicely for us. Because if you don't know, we're still gonna be getting full monetary value Five and ten, maybe. Uh, full monetary value for all of these pops. So... Essentially, it's just extra money. If we can handle it, of course. If we can't handle it, that's another story, and it kind of fucks us up a bit, but... Interesting, because this, this does seem like... It, it seemed at first like double spawns, but... Now I'm thinking it's just... No, that's too extreme. You can't do that. That'd be too crazy to expect people to be able to defend a bad on round 50. Right? Black balloons are coming through. Round 20, I'm, I'm... I mean, if it's not exactly on round 20 that black balloons come through, then it's very close. white balloons. Yeah, I'm thinking it's whatever the round number is. Double it. That round is also coming with you. So, it's not ideal, I must say that now. But it's also not the end of the world. I think Druid here will be very helpful with the whole Druid of the Jungle thing. Well, I mean, I guess round 20 we'll know if it's, uh, it's the round doubled. Because we'll see round 40 stuff. Ooh, 18. No, 14, sorry. 14's a key indicator because 14 times 2 is 28. 28 is usually the first lead round. Wait, what? No. Okay, I am a little bit confused. Because I swear that was 27 and 28. Now I'm not sure of anything in life. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if we'll do very well on this. I'm placing this for security. What was it, 60? 60 towers given to me? Okay, so I can... I can place up to 12 per, per map. So that's very handy. 36, yes, I believe, does have those camo greens. Okay, so... <clears throat> if it really is double whatever round number you're on, that round also appears alongside the base round number then next round we'll see a Moab. Fuck. Um, that also means on round 50 we'll see a bat, which seems a little bit, what's the word? Fucked. You know? I do wonder if these uh, extra round ruining blooms uh, weaker to any degree 
you know, like is this the Moab by any chance slightly weakened? Or do I literally have like 29 rounds to prepare for a bad now? Because I don't know if I could do that, honestly. I mean, I'll certainly try, but... I don't see it. Wait, 63. Oh, thank fuck, it's an odd number. You can't double it. You can't double a number and make it 63. And then again, I did think that round 27 came out a little early last time. So, I might be screwed either way. We'll find out. Okay. But, I have admittedly missed the meat and potatoes of these uh, community-based odysseys having custom rounds. Okay, 25 doubled is 50. Okay. Good news, everyone. Based off of this alone, if we can beat this round, then we can beat round 50. If it wasn't also going to spawn a bat. You know? But that's good, to, that's good to know. We can beat the base round 50, just not the extra part of the round 50. At the very least, money is easy to come by. As we can tell. I've literally bought these guys' upgrades to the max they can be. Uh, I'm going to start feeding Sorta, because, frankly, I don't want to buy another tower. I know I've got plenty of, uh, plenty of towers to choose from and all that, but if I can help it, I wouldn't want to buy another tower. We'll just see how we go with this lot, and then check in later. Quick, all of the even-numbered rounds between 50 and 100. Are any of them shit? 98, 76, 78, all a little bit of a pain in the ass. That was round 59, camo leads. So I'm not entirely sure that we're safe from any round in the future. To be honest with you, because that... That is round 62. There's, there's fortified mods as well. Yep. We, we are seeing some real threats here. But we do also have 30 grand. So I think if we just conserve our towers as much as we can, we should be fine. Okay, yeah, this is also round 63, so we need to keep an eye out here. But we seem fine for us. Druid's got our back. Druid's got our front. Yeah, it's a long map. We'll, we'll do fine. Okay, so... Yep. 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 Makes sense to me to power level Sorta. I'm gonna be given a shitload of cash. I don't think Sorta's leveling up actually changes all that much based on what extra is being sent. I think that XP for Sorter is calculated normally as if it was just round 33 and not, you know, BFBs. So, I think, essentially we need to make our heroes catch up to where they should be. And if I can avoid placing new towers by upgrading Sorter, then I will take that. Yeah, I mean, look at the, look at the XP Sorter got from completing round 33. Sorter's at level 10. It makes sense that a level 10 Sorter doing round 33 would get fuck all XP. But obviously, the game doesn't know that we're tackling harder stuff. Luckily, we have the money to make up for it, and sort of prove it, I guess. Proof is in the pudding. The pudding is Sorter. Damage to all balloon types, that'll be good for DDTs. I probably should be placing other towers, honestly. But, like I said, I do just want to see how far we can push with minimal amounts of towers first. 
what was what was completely uh, open to interpretation? Snipers, bomb shooters. Um, is that it? Glue gunners? No, glue gunners can only go for glue stuff. Um, so snipers and bomb shooters would definitely uh, all parts, all tier fives for a So we can get cripple Moab every time. Or we can get Moab Eliminator or Bloom Crush every time. There's no issues there. I like that. Um, hmm, okay. Alk buff, honestly. I rarely get permabrew, so I think we'll be fine on that front. I'm not having it. it. Doesn't bother me all that much. Like that. We are approaching around 80 territory. Large ones that I'm not looking forward to, to be honest. So it seems to be double the round number, also send the one before the double round number as well. So for example, round 20 would just send round 40, right? Wait, no, it would send round 39 and 40. And then round 21 would send round 42 and 40. I think that's what's going on here. Because that's round 79 mixed with round 80 with this zero. that this strategy is working considering we're technically at round 80 or round 80 plus attack with that blur of speed sort of kind of good, because now we know that if we can't get through a round, then we definitely can't get through a fucking round. There's no, oh, maybe if Sorta was leveled up a little sooner, or none of that wishy-washy crap, we can just be like, right, well, Sorta's fucking maxed out. What else can we do? And I think if we do get to that point where it's like, oh shit, we're kind of stuck, then... I think the first thing that I'm going to do is, is place either a sniper or a bomb shooter. Most likely a sniper. Just get down any uh, A cripple Moab. Ruin some Bloons lives. To be fair, in my mind, the only thing that stops us uh, is, is bad in my mind though. My mind doesn't like to think about DDTs or overwhelming amounts of regular Moab. Oh, oh, there's another crucial bit of information that I need to tell you guys about this. We're actually gonna be okay. We're actually gonna be fine. Okay, so. I have done custom rounds many, many, many times in Odysseys beforehand. Some made by Ninja Kiwi. Admittedly, they didn't think very far ahead with it. Some made by uh, my by, by crazy people in the community that also don't think very far ahead, but are also psychopaths for being able to complete their own Odyssey in the first place. However, there is one key thing about custom rounds when it comes to sending rounds before they're meant to be sent. 
the one benefit that we actually get from this, aside from the shitload of money, because at this point, you don't need to farm. You just get enough money to make a fucking paragon if you really want to. Um, but the one important fact that you need to know is that the difficulty of ceramics and Moab class balloons is entirely based on what the visual round number is. So for example, you will never see in this entire odyssey a super ceramic because they only spawn from round 80 onwards and the custom rounds don't apply that logic. The custom rounds go, oh, it's round 47, but we've been told to spawn, you know, fucking a shitload of ZOMGs. That's all well and good. They'll still be at base ZOMG level health. The ceramics that spawn from them, though, just because ZOMGs normally spawn past round 80, doesn't mean that the ZOMGs they spawn at round 47 will be super ceramics. Well, they won't have super ceramics inside of them. Because the game looks at this, goes, round 47, we're not meant to be spawning super ceramics. Why would we do that? And then they don't. Which is bloody brilliant for us. It is absolutely, other than the cash, the biggest benefit we have to versing these stupid rounds early. I don't like that. Let's, let's pop some of those down. Okay, that I'm fine with because... Yeah, take, take your time dismantling that whole thing. Cool. Cool. So, things we can take advantage of. The shitload of money we will be given. I have way too much of it. And the fact that... All of these guys will be weaker than expected. Yeah, look at that. Due to the fact that they are not in fact super ceramics, they're always going to be their base health Moab values. So, as we all know, when we're going into free play, so the rounds beyond 80, Moabs and ceramics tend to get a little bit faster tend to have a little more health, uh, tend to, I don't know, just be dicks in general, so they're, they're usually faster, get more health. That's why you die in the late game, because otherwise, you'd, you'd just make a Bloon Master Alchemist, shrink everything to a red balloon, Bob's your uncle, find something that can one-shot a bad, done deal. But no. Three play rounds. Bad start surviving one shots. Uh, BMA doesn't doesn't really start missing or failing in any way, but usually the balloons speed up to the point where BMA's attack speed, regardless of how many buffs you've given it, can't keep up. Okay, this is actually good downtime. We're gonna do that. But hey, we just beat round 98 with uh, this setup. Kind of scary, to be honest. Throw that in the mix too. Come on. Oh, that's a little too much, I think. Dying. Could we do that better? Most likely. Um. See, now that we're so close, I don't want to place anything more. <laughs> right, what if we just... Oh, we can buy permabrew. What? Oh yeah, I wasn't actually paying attention to that part, to be honest with you. Um, right, well, if we permabrew these two, surely that just does what we want, right? And we don't necessarily lose a tower that I think will be super impactful on its own. On its own. I should, I should specify that. On its own. Very impactful, a part of a group. However, I don't want to get rid of towers that I think are going to be more main damage dealers this early. I want to, I want to hold on to those. And it does seem a lot 
better. We'll throw out this guy though for cleaning up. Or at least helping with cleaning up. Okay. It's a hell of a lot better now. Right, so now it's just two Moabs and a BAD. Which, to be honest, I'm not expecting us to be able to beat this BAD, honestly. <clears throat> oh yes, and of course round 99. How could I forget? Are we good down there, Spectre? <laughs> yeah, we are. Embarrassingly so. Alright, sorta. Of. Come on, fuck them up. What's with that burning animation? Why is there a big round invisible area? Oh, right, because it goes off the, the base game uh, skin of what the bad looks like for damage over time effects. Doesn't consider that maybe I turned it into a giant scab. Whatever. Either way, this is this is all good news. This is all good news. It means one, two, three, four towers and uh, an alchemist buff can be round 100 in this odyssey. Uh, and that's, that's very good news for us, considering that we'll be going until round 140, thanks to uh, round 70 showing up in the last map. So, I think we'll be all right. If this team can do this on this map, uh, admittedly, some of the other maps are more of a struggle than this map, but, oh god, yeah. Moab damage is not strong with that one. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's fine. We can just use abilities. Abilities clean up everything, especially when you're popping in. Time to kill the scarab. Nothing anymore. Copyright reasons. Okay. But I think this will do it. We'll just take a couple of around the world tricks when it comes to popping these ZOMGs and we'll be good. There's one, there's two, and I did say a couple. We didn't in fact need three. Okay, Candyland, bring it on. Speaking of, I've got a I've got a tube of Smarties with me. Hell yeah. I somehow managed to only get one. Anyway. Now that we know how this works. Sorta was an amazing pick. I think Ben would have been okay. Just so that first of all, turns out I don't need banana farms on this map. That was a terrible idea. But hey, that's what custom rounds do. They don't give you the full picture, so you sort of stumble in blind. You figure things out as you go, and then unless you restart, you don't you don't get to pick better towers that you may have thought, oh well if I knew this was happening then I would have picked this. You don't you don't get that. You just Well, in my case you just fucking suck it up and deal with it, but I would heavily advise the second you figure out what these custom Odyssey rounds are, immediately pause the game, go back to the Odyssey home screen, look at your tower selection and go, are any of these now hot garbage? Because they fucking will be. Some of them will be trash. Like, I've got five banana farms that I'm probably not going to use because the rounds themselves give me literally millions and I don't want to place that many towers, so I'm trying not to spend millions, but they're giving it to me. So clearly, my banana farm choice, very garbage. Would not recommend that. If anything, ditch the banana farms, get some more bomb shooters and snipers, because they are unrestricted tier fives coming out the wazoo. Um, and naturally, I still... I mean, of course I'm gonna bring fucking ten wizards. What kind of fool do you take me for? Offer me wizards and think I'm not gonna take them. Even when they're all tier 4 only. There's a reason why you had to limit them to tier 4. 
You couldn't give me the tier 5 ones because then this would be over too quickly. Middle path tier 5 would slaughter everything. Far too early. Anyway, it will take a while for the uh, insane amount of cash flow to roll in. But that's just due to the fact that uh, the early rounds don't really get that much cash. So, you know, round 18 and round 36 aren't particularly cash dense. I mean, the later 30s aren't bad, but... Yeah, the, the earlier rounds, not so great. But once we start rolling into the, uh, there you go, 40 plus, the money does start to get pretty good. Think of it like the opposite of half cash. I didn't immediately say think of it as double cash mode because I've never used it. But that's, that's a better frame. That's a better framework for it. Think of it like double cash mode. It just makes the game so insanely easy. Okay, what else do I want? I do want another, a, another druid. I do feel like that was appropriate. With the, how much extra cleanup we have to do. And the occasional side hustle with a little bit of extra cash money here and there from the ability. Certainly doesn't hurt. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, round 24. I've already got nearly three tier fours. So we are approaching those amazing rounds for money. Look at that. Just flying through it. I'll probably go for the Pirate Lord next, honestly. If we can survive like this for a while. I'll go for the Pirate Lord. That'll be a good source of income. On top of what we're already going to get. And then I can think about uh, other towers to place if, they, if they're even needed. I mean, we'll see, right? Debating on whether to bring the subs or not. I feel like there needs to be more water to justify it. Like, I know it's just straight up really good. But. I don't know. I just never think of bringing it if there's any sort of restrictions placed on it, because I assume they take away all my favourite upgrades. And they usually do. Like, tier 5 top path, I'm pretty sure, is the only path available. Uh, that went to tier 5, so... It wasn't very pleasant seeing that. Why? I do love this concept, though. Anything that gives me a shitload of money. Mm. Beautiful, keep it coming. It's always nice to feel overpowered in video games, but not when it's not earned or deserved. Like, I used to play on a website called Arcade Prehacks when I was in high school, which essentially was just a, a, a Flash Games website except they would give you cheat codes. And so, for example, in something like Age of War, you could have infinite money, if you remember Age of War. 
Um, so instead of being like fucking stuck as a, as a caveman, you, they also give you like infinite XP and stuff. Um, so instead of being stuck as a caveman until, you know, you eventually manage to progress until you know, fucking military and the space age shit, you could just jump to the space age straight away. Now, admittedly, if you sent anything from the space age whatsoever, it doesn't matter the difficulty that AI is set to, it will just perish. Because you're sending, essentially, a super soldier against cave. Now, admittedly, in some scenarios, the cavemen do win. I think there's that one alien movie, or that one predator movie, that proved that. Where like a, a predator crash landed on a planet or something. I don't know the, the main story of it, but essentially, the, uh, the protagonists were all... It was in that era where like, guns existed, but only for the, the ultra-rich white colonizers. Right? And our main protagonist was not one of those. I think she had like a... I think she had a tomahawk attached to a rope. Which was fucking cool. Um, but it's been a while since I've seen this movie, so correct me if I'm wrong if you've seen it. Um, but yeah, essentially it was like primitive technology versus predator, which is... A little bit insane, but somehow the predator fucking loses. Probably an, an amateur predator. Did not spend enough time in the training camps with their parents. Um, either way, though, it's nice to feel overpowered. And in this situation, it does feel that way. It would feel even more so if there wasn't extreme mode restrictions on how many towers we can place overall, but that's necessary, to be honest. That's absolutely necessary. It would be a little too much to have. Essentially, just be a free-for-all for how many tier 5s can you place in, in the allotted time. Or how quickly can you rush a fucking Paragon, you know? Not nearly as fun. I guess there's no harm in placing this factory. Mainly because all of these maps end in one spot. So I'm not going to need to place two on any map. As far as I'm aware. Oh yeah, sorry, sort of. So yeah, there's really no reason to be holding back on the factory. <laughs> Pathetic attempt, balloons. Keep it up, one day you'll get that. Or not. See what I mean though? At this point in time, farms are redundant. Villages, because I didn't know what the fuck was going on, kinda also seem a little redundant. 
It sucks, but you can you can do this map, and it's Odyssey much better than I've already started it. Be warned. Doubled version of the round we're on, plus the round before that. Okay, so technically 15 rounds to go, including these three. Weird, but I love it. Look at that money. You can genuinely afford the thing. What are they called? Paragon. You can genuinely afford them just by existing. I could get them on the boat. That'd be nice. Okay, maybe this is actually way too many ceramic ones for us to handle. Indeed. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to be a little less stingy. Right. What can we place that obliterates cleanup like it's nothing? Nope, nope. Eh. Not really. Mmm, stunning is nice. That, not really. This might do what we need it to do. Because once again, no, no super serums. Hmm. I'm gonna attempt a bomb blitz. Mainly because I'm fairly certain that bomb blitz will be um, not as effective as the thing I actually want to use, but I'd rather waste a bomb blitz now, or a bomb shooter now, than a sniper now. Although at the same time I don't think the uh, this is what I need to do, essentially. Yeah, so that's a lot better in terms of balloons making it through. So now they're just limited to zebras. Which will absolutely not ruin my spiked mind wall. I probably could have also just gone through that round by using Sorter's second ability, but I don't know, it just seemed like a hassle to have to juggle that every other round after 50. You know? Okay, okay, we get it. You have some DDTs. Chill. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Let's start with this. See how this helps. If at all. And we'll hit them with one of these first. See how that helps. And then with one of these. Or should I say, three of these. Yep, that did it. What does 
feel like my abilities are coming back faster. I know they're not. But it feels like it. This isn't actually as bad as I thought. I might regret this. I might regret saying that by round 70 on the last map. But at the moment, as it stands, this is okay. Sky. I like your thing. safe, I'm not going to let that slide. Do that nice and early. Do that very nice and early. And grab three of you, four of you, five of you, however many. Number four. Jump down again. Three. Down. I was gonna say I really don't want to use that ability if I can help it, because that's like my best cleanup ability here. But it's the harm, it's almost back anyway. There we go. This has been Kinetic Chaos by Sky Part 1. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Sky, for creating. I'm enjoying it at the moment. We've got 52 towers out of 61 remaining for these last three maps, so I think we'll be in good hands. Anyway, part two, as usual, featuring these three maps will be out tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.